see that um, for me to have a by the registration this case doesn't have enough teeth so I had to make the by the registration thick so that it'll not break and also for me to have a um, accurate by the registration I feel the identity space because if I just to go one line here then it'll the line will sunk and uh, with the thin line of the, by the registration material you do not be able to um, hold this uh, both arch together so make it thick so that you will hold a full arch and I'm gonna show you how to trim the bite registration the point of trimming the bite registration is for us to remove the all the undercut because as you if you have if your bite registration has the undercut as it occludes as it occludes it'll move the bite registration as it passes through the undercuts so it is important to move all the undercuts so as you can see that uh, there's the undercut so carefully cut these undercuts anything that is uh, interfering with the occlude occlusal uh, bulk of the teeth needs to be carefully removed hmm? like this no undercut we what we need is is just uh, these areas but if these areas also have some interference seem to have uh, some interference then just slightly remove it and also for the edentulous space it holds as an undercut on the cervical area of the impression so remove those undercuts like this So it is the same. I'm working on this uh, some um, unusual case which has the uh, edentulous side, but it is this. Um, the principle is the same with full teeth. When you are doing just to remove all the um, all the impression that is uh, above the uh, that has the undercuts. So I'm gonna finish cutting these undercuts and show you the video so just to cut I'll cut first everything and I'll show you the final work that I've done so do you see that there is no undercut everything is uh mm, it, it seems like even though i occluded it there will be no def uh, deviation so let's try to see the teeth see that because of the undercut this is not sitting so I need to cut this aside so um, the bite registration is kind of rigid that's why it is important to cut all the undercuts if you don't then it'll tear the bite registration or uh, it'll not allow you to sit it fully that's the reason why we are removing all the bite registration so let's try to remove the undercut here 
remove it. Other places are okay, but this place it is not sitting well. So cut. You don't need to be so careful about cutting. Just cut all the undercuts. Yeah, like that. And also some part to here. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna sit it. Now it sits. Mm -hmm. Do you see that it is it's seated? Now? Now good. Now it's seated but it needs some more adaptation here. Mm -hmm. But I think it, it looks good. And also the other side. It is sitting well. You see that there is no space in between. So now with this, we are gonna occlude the opposing arch. There you go. Now I think it is biting well. You see that it has a very unstable bite. That's why it is important to get a good bite registration. If I have made it thin, then probably uh, it would have been torn here. And if I have not made an undercut removed, this part I do not be able to occlude. And also this part as well, the front part. And yeah, so it is like this. As you can see, if you don't remove the undercut these areas, then it would make the occlusal remove uh, by registration move, and we would not be able to um, occlude it nicely. That's why uh, we need to remove all the undercuts and make it fit nicely. Let it sit nicely. So, whenever you take the bite registration, make sure that the patient is biting at the uh, correct position. So let the patient open mouth and close their mouth and let them see with the meter and know that that is how they bite and then let them feel really, really confident about their good bite so that when you do the actual bite registration, they do not bite in a wrong bite. Thank you. Hopefully this video helps you and you're amazing.